Well, today's health topic brings us to the honeybees. Well, don't worry, we're not talking about stinging and you don't have to worry about the bees, but there is some great health benefits that come from bee glue. That's right, bee glue. What is bee glue? Well, Dr. Trudy Pieper from Phoenix Wellness in Johnstown, Ohio is here to break it all down for us and tell us how this miracle item could just be the next thing that we need in our health system. Well, yes, you know, we've been talking and even in past segments, we've talked about honey and what a wonderful gift that is. And it's biblical. God, remember Samson ate the honey mm -hmm. um, and in Proverbs to tell us, you know, don't eat a bunch of honey, just eat until you're filled. Um, honey is a wonderful a natural antibiotic, antifungal, antiviral, and we've known about that for a while. But recently, some more studies have been focused on more of the items that bees do, and one of them is called bee propolis, or bee glue, as it's called, <laughs> and, in, and how it can help with viruses and breakouts of cold and flu and bacterial infections. So what exactly is bee glue? Well, it's a waxy substance that's made from plant resin. So as the bees are out flittering over your yard, they're picking up something called the resin from a plant. You, know, you see them in the flower and they're pulling that out. And then they combine that with the enzymes that the bees actually have in their mouth, spit, and they put that together and this becomes this bee glue or propolis. And the way they use that could give us a tip as to how we can use it is that they take that and they take the hive and they spit that or splatter that all over the inside of the hive and it becomes an antibacterial sealant wow. that does not allow any bacteria or anything else from the outside world into their secure area of their, their honeycombs in there. And then they also use it as a caulk to reinforce the hive so it doesn't fall apart. My goodness. <laughs> it's, it's a science lesson today with Dr. Trudy, but it's not just a science lesson. It's something that actually can be applied to your life. Um, so there was a study done that shows how this bee glue can have good health benefits in our own lives. It has. There were actually two studies. One was done in, in Yemen with children who had upper respiratory infections. And the children presented with runny noses, sore throats, coughs, and fevers. Um, they were diagnosed with cold, pharyngitis, tonsillitis, oral thrush, and they said, okay, let's take this group and let's try the bee glue, the bee, bee propolis, on them and see what happens. So they were all treated with that, and the results showed that it stopped the growth of the bacteria. Within 24 hours, all of the children were no longer, they were still presenting symptoms, but they were not as worse, and they were not, and not getting worse at all. Another study in Germany showed that it actually stopped the activity of the strep virus in six hours. In six hours, the, the, the strep virus was deteriorating and slowing down in the body from that. Wow. It also has shown impressive results with skin infections, uh, yeast infections such as Candida and MRSA. So it's got a huge future. Um, if you're, and it's easy to find, you don't have to worry about the little sticky goop. You're like, how am I going to eat that stuff? <laughs> Actually, it does come in capsules. So you can go to your health food store and you know, purchase some propolis, have it on hand for when your, your children or for you have a virus because it's antifungal, uh, so it's going to help the yeast. It's antibacterial, which means if you have a, a, a cough or cold that gets worse, and you remember that green mucus that comes from your nose when it turns to bacteria, mm -hmm. it's going to help with that. Or just a simple cough and cold, it will also help with the virus. We kind of forget about, again, diet is everything. You know, we're all about nutrition and prevention and natural health. And one area that's so neglected um, because we're a world of fast eating, so we grab this or we grab that. And what we most of the time we grab are carbs. Uh, carbohydrates are, and again, which break down to be sugars. And so we're a society of low protein. And it has been shown that low protein diet depletes the immune system of crucial germ fighting nutrients. So what it usually again means, if you have low protein, it means you're eating more carbs, which weakens, and carbs and sugar weaken the immune system. So just by increasing the proteins in your body, an egg has six grams of protein. An egg a day will help your immune system be healthier. That's a simple thing, very simple. Essential oils is another option that can help prevent colds and, and, and or treat them. I like to think this, Jennifer, of, you know, today I'm, 
there's so many chemicals that we we're putting into our bodies that hurt us. So hand sanitizers. Here's one of my boogaboos. Hand sanitizer loaded with chemicals. So you're rubbing that and it's being absorbed into your body. So a natural way for a hand sanitizer, and again, if you want to fight off the flu and cold and you don't want someone else's germs, I get that that's important. But they're using essential oils of lav lavender, peppermint, um, lemon, any of those rubbed on your hand on a regular basis. You can keep them in your purse. You can keep them whatever. They smell good. They'll fight the bacteria and you're not putting chemicals in your body. So really just take the bottle, a drop, a drop and just rub it rub all it together. In. That's a natural hand sanitizer. Wow, excellent. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, how about probiotics? Knowing again that the colon or the gut, as we say, has 60 to 80% of our immune system's receptor cells for the immune system to be healthy, um, you have to make sure that the lining of your colon's working well. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's true. So the way that we do that is you, you have good bacteria in your colon, you have bad bacteria. Most of the time when you get sick, the bad guys outnumber the good guys. So what we wanna do is to make sure you always have plenty of the good bacteria in your colon. You can buy a supplement and get a probiotic uh, that's got many different uh, types, strands of uh, natural uh, good bacteria in it. But I, again, like you to eat as much as you possibly can. And there's lots of good sources. A good Greek yogurt has lots of live cultures in it. Usually Greek yogurt has five to 10 billion live cultures. Um, what you wanna find is a yogurt that has more protein and less sugar. So if it has 13 grams of sugar and nine of protein, you don't wanna buy that one. You wanna buy the one that says 13 grams of protein and lesser of sugar in there to do that. You can also eat, uh, kefir, which a lot of people make, kombucha, uh, fermented veggies, are all really good things. Sauerkraut, coming up in the season, those are all good ways, and just doing one of those a day will give you your probiotics. All right, excellent. And then your final one that you have on here is, you know, the, these things you've mentioned, protein, essential oils, probiotics, you've probably heard about all of those, but this last one, what Dr. Trudy is gonna suggest to you, <laughs> that's a, I think it's a great idea, uh, but I'm not doing it. I, I need to do this. <laughs> you know, we forget about some of the things, but um, massage, believe it or not, builds the immune system. Wow. <laughs> it's, they have found, of course, that massage will increases the serotonin levels in your body, also your dopamine levels, which means it fights anxiety and relaxes you, so you can fight depression, anxiety with massage, but also it is it releases and increases the activity of our natural killer cells, which are called T cells, um, which are white blood cells, and the lymphocytes. And when, we, when you have a massage, it stimulates the body to release those, so now that you can fight off um, anything, viruses that you get, just because you had a massage.